Okay, now that we have our bearing installed on our shaft, we're gonna put our shaft into the suction piece so we can get our packing set so we can move on to the next step of the rebuild. Before we do that though, we'll need to install the suction piece seal into the suction piece. So we said before, you gotta make sure that the spring goes towards the impeller. That way any excess pressure building up in the bearing will be pushing out of it and not try to blow the, um, the bearing cap seal out. So we drop it in on the Berkley tool. We take our hammer. Pop it in place until it seats. Pretty simple there. Now we'll take our shaft, drop our shaft down through the center of the seal. In place, so usually I'll take a little bit of the grease and just put it around the shaft sleeve so that it'll slide through the seal nice and easy. Now we'll take our packing. Normally we'll put four rings of packing in here. Sometimes it calls for five, but four just seems to fit better. Five has a tendency to push the gland up a little bit. What we'll do is we're gonna wrap it around the shaft and then we'll alternate the cuts. So they're 180 degrees off from each other. That keeps it from leaking. Put the packing around, push it down in place. Usually you can move the shaft around at this point to help move it around. Take the second one, pop it in place. Now at this time, it's nice to take the actual packing gland itself and you push in and push down on it. And that pushes the packing down into the gland area. So it makes it easier to get the next pieces in. What you want to do is remember which way you were going with that, up, down, up, down. Now it puts the third ring in. Now we'll put our fourth ring in. And again, take the packing gland and push it down in there until it seats down in. Notice that the gland actually has a top and a bottom where the pieces fit together. That way it's nice and smooth, bottom ends up nice, so it goes up against the packing material. Now we'll take and push our gland in place. Push it down so it's centered. Now take your bolt, put your bolt up through, put the nut down on it. Then normally we'll take and I'll cinch this down until it puts just some pressure onto the packing. Final adjustment really has to be done in the water. What you're looking for is about a drip per minute at idle coming back through the packing gland. And you see just a little wet spot running down the pump. For now, that's it.